in today's video i'm going to be telling you all the things you need to pack while you're going to basic training and if you're interested in that type of content stay tuned my name is Nelson. i'm a nigerian youtuber based in the united states of america i'm a soldier as you can see and i went to basic training january 2019 so i'm going to be telling you some of the things that you need to pack from my experience from the experience of people around me because i do have a couple of soldier friends as well my sister is also in the military if you do not know so i'm gonna be telling you all of the things that i need i think you need to pack first things first you need to pack lights i know you've heard this a lot of times a lot of people in different videos tell you pack lights and they try to explain to you why you have to pack lights i'm not even going to explain to you if you don't want to pack lights that's fine when you get there you figure it out by yourself okay <laughs> experience is the best teacher all right next thing you need a backpack a black plain black backpack preferably because a lot of things you're going to pack you're going to pack very light so you don't need a very big bag any bag that's like black but preferably a black backpack and i'll tell you why so this is a plain black backpack that does not have logos or anything it is in regulation and this is what i advise that you take something like this it doesn't have to be same just an all black backpack and i'm going to tell you why so why you need an all black backpack is that when you go to basic training you have all your stuff in your backpack and then you go to ait right ait is where you train to be to do the job that you have chosen in the military your mos you probably chose mechanic uh 68 whiskey which is combat medic you chose some type of job and you're going to go ahead into ait to go do that job now while you're going to while you're in that training it's going to be like a school setting and you're going to need a backpack to put your stuff like your books and all that so this backpack is going to come in very handy for you because when i was in ait a lot of people had to buy buy new backpacks including me um your recruiter may give you the regular camouflage backpack but if it's not plain without any um what's it called without any logo you cannot wear it while on uniform so a lot of us have to go buy new backpacks so to save yourself that money buy it while you're going to basic training another thing you do need to pack is underwear i mean duh <laughs> you need to pack underwear plain underwear no logos no nothing because trust me they're gonna do inspections on your underwear sounds crazy but yeah Females, you no lace, no bow, no design, no, mm -mm, no, no, all that crazy stuff. A plain underwear. And a lot of people will tell you to get like the grandma panties, like the real big panties. But um, you can go get those so cheap in Target, like six, seven, as many as you want. Get underwear. And then you're going to need sports bra as a female. Plain sports bra again plain 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 you don't want to buy all these things and then you get some basic training and you have to rebuy everything because you're going to be giving a a card that has money to it we called it an easy card in my time i don't know if it changed when you go there but they give you a card for females you have 350 dollars 350 dollars on it that you could use to buy anything that you want now you want to have a lot of your stuff from home so you don't have to spend that money now i had my underwears covered because some people you get there you don't find your size oh well no lacy bras they may not let you wear the regular civilian bras that have like wires and stuff you have to wear sports bras depending on where you ship out to so be mindful of that you need like toiletries toothpaste toothbrush lotions in my time i had people who didn't bring all these toiletries because they were they did not think they would need it they thought it would be provided but it wasn't provided and most people will tell you, oh, you go to the PX. Sometimes you could stay up to a whole week without going to the PX. And the PX is like our little shop where we go to get our stuff. So what if you are not able to go to the PX? What are you going to do? Like, you're not going to brush your teeth. I had people who were having to beg for um, toothpaste and lotion. We didn't go to the PX until like five days into reception. Reception is a place where they keep you for like a couple of days to get your paperwork done and um, get you ready for basic training. So we had people who did not have toiletries like soap, um, washcloth or sponge, depending on what you use. Make sure you take those things, at least travel size, something that can keep you until when you're able to buy yours. Make sure you pack pens, at least like three, four pens. Make sure you have pens because you're going to be signing a lot of paperwork. So you're going to be writing a lot for the first few days. Make sure you have like a notepad because you're going to need it while you're in basic training. Something that can fit into this type of pocket. Right here. Because you need to make your notes, make your cheat sheet, put it in here. Whenever they ask you a question, you need to pull it out. Okay? So make sure to pack that. Now you also need socks. Like 
black plain black socks or plain white socks without any logos i'm telling you without any logos if you're not able to find one that's all the way uh, plain make sure it doesn't have logos on the calf side like the visible side when you wear it make sure it doesn't have logos and it has to you can't have ankle socks or like short socks it has to be socks that go over your ankle so make sure you have an appropriate sock okay another thing you need to pack is like comb if you have natural hair like me and you have a particular time of comb that you used to uh, comb your hair make sure to take that as well shampoo if you have a particular type of shampoo that you use on your hair or a particular type of cream or something that you use on your hair make sure to pack that because the px that we had did not have a lot of natural hair stuff and we had to make do with what we had you need plasters more skin make sure you take like a pack of plaster more skin because you may get blisters you may get like cuts or stuff and you want to have your own thing when you get there your deodorants make sure they're alcohol free because some people enforce it to the t no alcohol alcohol free deodorants make sure that you're looking when your if your recruiter tells tell you something that you cannot use this thing you really cannot use it okay make sure you have your charger your phone charger because whenever there's like time for using phones and so whenever they want us to use our phone right they have people charge our phone like an hour before or two hours before and if they don't find a charger where you put your phone guess what they're not going to charge your phone you may also want to have like power banks because maybe they plugged your phone and somebody moved it and it didn't charge guess what you could just pull out your power bank and use it to charge your phone it came in really handy on days where we got to call our families you need stamps you need envelopes and you need like a notepad a notepad so i i don't have the type of notepad that i took to basic training around me i would have showed you guys but you need something you can write with you also need stamps because the only way you'll be able to communicate with your family is through letters immediately they give you like your address that your family can use to write you back you want to write your family and tell them hey blah 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 i'm here i'm fine and all that and stamps they were gold when we were in basic training because you may want to write like a lot of people and then you just run out of stamps you may want to keep writing your family always and you run out of stamps again you may not get to go to px as frequently as possible and you don't want to be that person that's always begging for stuff so get your own stuff especially with covid and with covid you may want to pack your own face masks and make sure it's like the surgical blue like the surgical type of face masks all black or surgical those are the two that are authorized on uniform as a female take a lot of hair ties a lot of ponytails ponytails and hair ties that are your hair color you don't want to have like gold hair and have black hair ties you're not allowed to have those it has to be like if you're blonde it has to be like blonde like your shade of blonde hair ties or scrunchy you cannot have like accessories in your hair so don't do not even try i don't know if they allow uh, earrings at basic training because this regulation came out after i was in basic training so i don't know if they allow earrings in basic training but in my time they did not you need a wristwatch that is not a smart wristwatch because you cannot keep your smart wristwatch you cannot keep smart wristwatches you cannot keep your phone to get like a regular analog wristwatch that you could use for like maybe a wristwatch that sets alarm um that you can use to tell the time and dates because trust me you're going to be pretty clueless clueless the days are going to be so long that you're like what time is it so you're going to need really simple wristwatch the wristwatch i used in my time was like 11 dollars, and it lasted me till like a long time i literally just threw it away last month and this is what 2022 okay so make sure you have a wristwatch something you can tell the time with make sure you take a couple civilian clothes maybe the one you're going to wear when you're going and another civilian clothes because when we went to ait and we're out to we're allowed to wear civilian clothes a lot of us did not have civilian clothes so we had to go buy civilian clothes so some of us could not even wear civilian clothes because we didn't even have so yeah so we had to keep wearing uniforms until we were able to go to the px and go buy civilian clothes so that's another thing you want to be on the lookout for pack like maybe one or two civilian clothes so that when you get to AIT you're really saving your money you know because you want to reduce your amount of money that you spend you're going to be there for like 12 to 13 weeks and you save all this money and then when you come out you feel like you have so much money you really don't have so much money when you start buying all these things so save your money and pack as much stuff as you can from home but pack light I know it's like what are you talking about pack but pack light pack with sense basically pack with your sense okay if you wear prescription glasses please take your prescription glasses don't go there and be blind just don't go there and now stay and say oh they, they, you didn't know that you couldn't wear your civilian 
glasses you can wear your civilian glasses until they bring your issued glasses to you so make sure that you have your civilian glasses and having your civilian glasses isn't going to help them like look at your prescription and tell what kind of prescription you have so they can give you military issued glasses and you're fine you're good to go take your civilian glasses if you need them if you take like any special medications that are being cleared that were cleared at MEPS you can take them as well you're not allowed to take birth control pills females you're not allowed to take birth control pills so well you have to find a way some people get like the shot or like the one in their arm just know how to plan yourself please as females pack sanitary pads because you're going to hear a lot of myths that you will not get your period 75 percent of females in basic training got their period it may be late it may be shorter than usual but would you get your period yes you will i got my period i got my i think i got two periods in basic training so yes you're going to get your period in basic training so pack sanitary pads or anything you think you're going to need you i think you can take tylenol i'm not so sure i don't think I don't remember anymore if you can keep Tylenol, if you can take Tylenol from home. But we're, we're allowed to buy Tylenol when we got there. Like if you needed Tylenol or ibuprofen, we were allowed to buy those when we got there. So if you have kids, you need to have their birth certificate. If you're married, you need to have your mar marriage certificate. If you're getting BAH, like if you have a lease, um, a lease that you're paying for before you leave, you need your lease agreement, proof to show that you have a lease. So you need all that. You need your valid uh driver's license do not forget your valid driver's license you also need a debit card you do i mean you need your debit card you need your debit card or credit card whatever you carry around you need those as well so all all the documents that were given to you at maps you're going to need all of them make sure you take them and it would be advisable to make copies like five copies of each or ten copies of each make as much copies as you want because you don't want to give one to a drill sergeant and then they disappear with it that you don't have it anymore so you want to make copies of all the documents that were given to you at maps or by your recruiter you want to make copies of all of those you also need shower shoes oh my god how did i forget shower shoes like plain black shower shoes like what we call dunlop or flip-flops flip-flop dunlop anyhow you know it you need shower shoes plain color like a plain neutral color like plain black gray but it has to be plain okay you need shower shoes else you're going to be in that nasty bathroom without any shower shoes and i'm already grossing out just thinking about it you need shower shoes do not forget do not forget okay you can take shaving razors you can take shaving creams um but as males take shaving razors because you're going to be required to shave on the first day like show up with clean shave so yeah take shaving razors shaving creams if you have a special type of razor you use Take care because you're going to be needing it. Even females, if you have a, spec a specific type of shaving razor that you use, do well to take it, okay? You don't want to get there and they don't have your shaving razor and then you start having anxiety. There are more things to worry about than a shaving razor. You need uh, two locks. You need two locks and it's usually combination locks because you can't keep actual keys. So you get combination locks. That's locks that you can lock with numbers and open with numbers. You need two, one for your locker and one for like a, an extra duffel bag if you want, if you have one. So get yourself two locks. So I think they issue locks or no, they don't issue locks. You have to buy locks. Like, <laughs> so if you don't have lock, you have to sign up for lock. And if you, if you lose it, you have to pay for it. So just buy something cheap on Amazon, Target, Walmart, somewhere. Buy lock, a key, lock, padlock, in case you don't understand what I'm saying. Padlock, lock, key, something to keep your things safe, okay? So that is all that I can think of from the top of my head. That is everything that I can think of that you really need in basic training. If I remember any other thing, I'm going to add it to the description box. So make sure to click the descri description box. If you're a soldier and you think I forgot anything, please leave it in the comment section and I'll definitely pin it so other people can see. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Please, even if you don't subscribe, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Tell me in the comment section, what did I miss out? What did I in, like put that you think is unnecessary? Please let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.